If you have watched some of our previous Angora videos, you may notice that our cage setup is way different. And you may be wondering why we have multiple adult rabbits living in the same cage. In this video, I'm going to update you on our Angora rabbit setup, breeding plans, and basically everything. Let's start off with the Fermite situation. About a month ago, I treated all the Angoras with Ivermectin, dropped along their back, and Listerine sprayed on their cages and supplies because they had Fermites. Even after a successful treatment, flaky skin, which is one of the symptoms of Fermites, can take a few weeks to go away. But on some of my rabbits, it never went away, and with others, the flakiness did go away, but then it started again. So the treatment I used before worked, but not for all of the rabbits. The problem could have been the wooden hutches some of the rabbits were living in. It is common for mites to live in wood, so it's possible that an infested rabbit shed some mites onto the wood, the mites stayed in the wood despite the disinfecting I did, and they reinfested the rabbits once their treatment was complete. Another possibility is that our turkeys spread mites to the angoras. Almost every evening, at least one turkey would fly up onto the cages that used to be right here. Never any other cages or hutches, just the top of that one so the turkey could more easily fly up to perch at night. So maybe the turkey shed mites onto the rabbit cage when it was on the roof. Or maybe it was both my theories, the hutches and the turkey. Or maybe it is a different thing causing the mites. But we have eliminated both my theories, and we'll see if that fixes the problem. And that brings me to why we changed our cage setup. Before all the changes, we had our French Angora buck, Sylvan, in a connected two-hole all-wire cage. Two of our does, the French Angora Sequoia and the English Angora Charity, in a connected three-hole wooden hutch. Our last doe, the French Angora Juniper, and next door to her, the French Angora buck Lucky, each in one hole of a completely wire cage. And lastly, the two remaining French Angora buck kits from Sylvan and Sequoia's first litter, who have yet to be sold, both were sharing a connected three-hole wooden hutch. So that was before, and now, after much fixing, changing, tarping, and hanging, we now have three all-wire cages, each with two connected holes. Sylvan and Sequoia are sharing one, the two kits are each in one hole of the next cage, and Juniper and Lucky are sharing the last one. And sadly, we did end up culling Charity from our herd, so she is no longer here. But why do we have our bucks and does sharing cages, and what about the two litters expected this month? Well, it turns out neither Sequoia or Juniper got pregnant when we bred them in February. Maybe the breedings didn't work, maybe they lost their litters during pregnancy, we'll never know. We did experience that awful big freeze during their pregnancies, so maybe that had something to do with it. Though our meat rabbits did fine with pregnancy and birth during that time, so I don't know. Okay, anyway... So it was day 30, the nest boxes were in, and nothing. Then day 31 of pregnancy, there was nothing. Day 32, 33, and 34 went by, and then by the morning of day 41, there was still nothing, not even any nest building. So that is why both of our does are in with a buck. In the past, I've done the usual method of breeding. Doe to the buck's cage, get three falloffs, then wait a month for babies. I did that method with Sequoia the first two tries breeding her, but both didn't take. So the third time, I tried leaving her with a buck for three weeks so he could make sure she was bred, and we got 13 beautiful kits. So I decided to try that method again, since it worked so well the last time. I'm not sure why regular breeding sessions seem to not be working for me right now. They have worked in the past, and I'm sure I'm doing everything right. But this different way worked last time, so we'll see if it works again. And yes, I know it's possible that does can castrate bucks, and yes, I'm aware of the potential of fighting and wounds, but all of the times I've done this with my rabbits, there have been no issues, so I'm willing to take that very slight risk for a very good chance of them actually getting pregnant this time. And now for the final update, our two remaining three-month-old kits. Alvar, the blue harlequin, and Anton, the lilac tort, are the only two kits left of our litter of 13. Somebody has reserved Alvar, and he will be picked up after Easter, and I'm contemplating keeping Anton because he's doing amazing on the grooming stand. But I might end up selling him too, we'll just have to see. 
And that concludes my Angora rabbitry update. Thanks for watching!